Charles. I've been here about 27 years. I, moved, I got here and I retired even from the military. And I moved out on Beamer Road. <coughs> and when I moved out there, it was a little two-lane highway, everybody went 80. <laughs> then they made it a four-lane highway, everybody went 80. <laughs> then they tore the four-lane up and put the sidewalk in between it, which I didn't agree to because there was no place to, to turn left and go and emerge in the traffic. I think we do a poor job of, of constructing our major, you know, Freeway, state, out state of Georgia. Georgia. Well, I'm just saying, I think it was done wrongly from living out there. Scruggs full employment. Act. And so, uh, my question is, uh, I'm retired twice now, and, and one one of the major reasons I retired the second time was because I got tired of going down Beams in the morning. We keep talking about bringing jobs to Bad Austin. Where well, we gonna get the resources to man these positions? Uh, we're talking about rural Cook County, we're talking about Berry County. My Lanier County, where they coming from? They coming straight down 125 down in, down in, in the Bad Austin. I used to spend lights from, from Forest Extension to Oak Street Extension, just waiting on to, to move up in the morning between 745 and about 830. If we're going to bring new jobs to Bad Austin, we're going to bring more people to Bad Austin. 20 some odd years ago, I said they need to have an expressway coming right before you get the movie and go around to the interstate. Nobody can see that. I don't know what we can do now because they put more subdivisions up. Don't y'all see that we just going to be one congested, <coughs> nothing, sitting still, if we don't start putting something around us. You can go up to one of Roberts and get off on Russell Boulevard and go around the city. Two acres up, you got uh, Watson Boulevard that you get to right around the city. We gotta be able to move people around without having a whole lot of traffic building up. Well, we gonna have a mess 25 years from now. I don't know what we gonna do. If we gonna get the new businesses then, fine, I don't care. But when we do get them in, we know where our resources are gonna come from. Most of them gonna come from those kind that I just mentioned. And how are they gonna get there? To downtown, you got an open building on 4th Avenue, open the warehouse up there. At some time, there's somebody gonna come with the resources to put something there. Where are they gonna get the resources from? Those kind. You got down there on Oak Street, you got the, the what is that, the, um, the some factory that used to be there. Burgess? No, 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 down by Oak Street and Tomb, down in that area. Going, uh, uh, I think it was uh, River Street, that's what it is. Oh, okay, you're talking about it. Okay. Yeah, all that's open space. People are going to put something there sooner or later, but you're going to read some small. Most of them, if you don't live off the interstate, they're going to come right down Beamer's Highway. You're talking about a mess. I moved, there, I moved there and I thought I was out of town. And now it's not out of town. Pretty soon, all that's going to go right on up to Ray City, right on up to Nashville. And it's going to be one, two, it's, like it's going to be like a two lane highway. What are we doing? What are we demanding? To get people to move in Bad Austin, to keep us moving. Because the reason I don't want to go up, the only reason these people probably moved from where they were because it was so congested to move around. <laughs> well, I can tell you, we don't have any say so, please. I understand, but, I, I, but I, I, the I city is talking to the county. The, 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 I mean, we got a fish here. Yeah, we got a fish here. Talk about If you guys haven't discussed that, and I know I ain't the brightest person in here, <laughs> then you all are behind the power curve. I think that we first got to figure out what our enemy is here in front of us because we want these big time, million, big time million dollar organizations and corporations to come here, which is going to bring more jobs, more people. I have a huge family, and when they come to visit me, I put the very close ones with me because my home is so big. The rest of them, I play, I, I get a play for them downtown. If you plan on something to come to visit you, provide them a way to get some resources there, and we aren't doing that. We are, we, and we're not even thinking about it. All we want to do is bring people here. But I don't want people here we can't move. That's the reason I moved here. Well, I will tell you, I'll come around that now and, and I'll talk to you know, Mary Gail about that and I'll talk to Mark and I'll reach out to Bill Slaughter, you know, Jeremy Slaughter and just and just see, you know, is there talks? You know, has there been yeah. an I know Matt Martin with us and our planning was on him. I know he has looked ahead years and I'm sure y'all's commission They, I mean, I've already talked about with, um, what's the, is it, what, the um, street that you, um, north side, 
that if we ever had to, there's a possibility of connecting north side all the way through to where it hits, I believe, is Park, if I'm not mistaken. So we've, we've already discussed certain things that can be done, certain things that can be connected to, to keep traffic moving in case we do run into these issues. So I'm sure it's been discussed, um, but I definitely, you know, you bring up something that I would like to also know the answer to, so I'll definitely look into it and everything. But, um, but you do bring up, I mean, I mean Scotty has been in this a lot longer than I have, so he may actually, since we're talking about Beamless and out that way, that's more of a county area too. So he may actually have something, or he, he may be the same boat as I am and may have the... I just find it very convenient for the county and the city to share spot money. Spot money does things. And you have a discussed ways of getting people around. I mean, that's, that's the city and the county together. Have you looked at the list, sir? And we have. Have, have, you, have you looked at the spots list? Oh yeah, there is a good bit of stuff on the spot. That's what I'm saying. Moving I mean, the biggest one is the, is the overpass on St. Yes. yes. But you know, we have a regional commission that helps us with planning, um, and it's kind of like the you know the chicken or the egg type mentality. I mean, we try to predict. I mean, James Road is a perfect example. Guys. I mean, we we heard rumors, we had sources, we heard that these things were coming. We we ran out. Well, those people were snake oil sellers anyway. So, I mean, you know, finding and trying to predict where people are going to want to go is, is very challenging and difficult. So our challenge, our big challenge, is do we put water and sewer in areas and try to promote commercial and residential growth in that direction and, and, and kind of steer people, or do we let them take the initiative and then we follow? So I think right now, I mean, it's a great topic, and I think we definitely we need to have further discussion on it. But but I don't think that we've laid back and not thought about it. This is our road. The people who live there, we don't want to fit in the front of the night, even though we're not doing anything. In. And I will tell you that the city and county they do meet what is it once right. a month, with the and they discuss things like this. So this yeah, is some things that you're good to grow. What are you talking about? Uh, Yes, sir.